Welcome to Out of Order, I'm Marcus. Let me show you guys Guerrilla War. This is SNK's arcade, kind of top-down shooter. Um, it's like a run and gun, you know. Uh, I love this game. I mean, when I bought this, it's because I love this game. It's got an amazing um, control mechanism on it, which I'll show you guys. But yeah, this is a fun game. When I was a kid, it was in my pizza parlor. Um, it's one of the games that I would always want to play. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a blast. So the game works great. Um, the controls work great, but I'll show you what's going on. All right, so I'm holding the control panel up just to show you guys this, but yeah, the right one I've removed. Um, so this is what is so cool about this game. It's like a 16 way joystick, right? So when you turn it, your character turns around 360 degrees it's so cool it's such a cool um game i'm trying to remember the follow-up to this it was like time something but um uh, akari warriors maybe? i can't remember anyway um so this joystick though is actually really complicated and you can't just buy a reproduction nobody makes reproductions of this and um the deal is is that you know it's got this crazy elaborate control for detecting all the movements plus these switches are for like if you go up down left or right right so it's i mean this is elaborate so it's called the ls30 by snk and um, unfortunately the only thing you can do is repair this so here is the problem here's the one that i've removed i've disassembled it pretty far i mean i've got all the parts here and um, the issue is that it was bent. You can see how far it's actually bent. Right, so that means that the actual joystick, which by the way, in order to remove this, you have to 3D print a little thing that removes the clips on it. It's super weird. Um, Jesse printed that for me. So thank you, Jesse Gadget Psycho. So check that out. Now that's actually me straightening it a little bit and I couldn't get it quite right and I don't want to like really wrench on it um, so what I decided to do is take it apart and um, remove it and straighten it that way and if I can't straighten it maybe I can replace it with something because I think this is just like a shaft that goes down the other thing is that in order for me to remove it I have to remove this snap clamp I think that's what it's called like a snap ring right there um so i don't have the right tool so i gotta order that um i got that ordered should be here at some point but yeah basically ls30 by snk pretty brutal um i don't know i'll i'll get it apart take it apart and see if i can straighten it and put it back together because I mean, it's pretty elaborate. I wish somebody would try and make something, but I just don't think the demand is there to make a new one. All right, so after getting the right tool, I was able to remove that snap ring, which was a little different than normal ones. But anyway, uh, so then I was able to straighten it out a little bit. Um, I think it's actually pretty close. It's hard to see, but Pretty dead center now. It might be a slight, just a little bit off, so I'm gonna try and adjust a little bit more. Um, trying not to break it. This is, I can only find this online. Um, this shows up once in a while as a set, but they're really expensive. I've found this um, on arcadefixit.com, but it's a hundred bucks just for this piece. So I'm trying to be careful. Um, but yeah, it's. It's a little sensitive. I think it's closer though. I, I do feel like that's more level, straight. So it's close. I mean, it's just like a millimeter off. So I'm gonna try and just get that a little bit over. And then I'm gonna put it back together and see how it looks. All right, so I got it put back together. It's looking pretty good. I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, a little bit rusty up here, but I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, the uh, still gonna clean that up too, but it's definitely 
straight. So that is awesome. So I'm waiting on some plexiglass and then I'll go ahead and install this back into the control panel. So I've got the joysticks. Well, I got the one fixed. And uh, it's currently screwed into the bottom of this. I'm putting some plexiglass on. So what I did, my friend Greg hooked me up. Thank you, Greg. Uh, and then I actually drilled those holes, which will secure it on there pretty good. The holes on the plexiglass actually have to be a little bit bigger than what's on the control panel. That's just because of the carriage bolt. So this will look pretty good when I pull the plastic off. I'm just going to clean it, put it on, uh, put these four bolts in. I did measure from this side and this side so they're all the same, like they're in the same spot. So, at least it's symmetrical, you know? I can't wait to play this game though, my god. It's one of my favorites. All right, here we go. So I've almost got it completely, you know, wired up. Got the control panel on, the overlay on. This one's a little technical. It's kind of funny too, because you have left, lefty buttons for both joysticks. So it's got like all these duplicate, you know, buttons. But check this out. Look at this wire. Look at that. That's uh, that's great, huh? So yeah, that's that's so stupid, dude. I, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that just makes me go like, what the hell? How do people work on arcade games and do that and then just call it good, you know? So, oh god, anyway, I'm gonna put a crimp on there, just a blue one that I have, and see if I can fix that. All right, got it fixed. So, just added a little uh, crimp connector there. But yeah, finally finished, man. This, this one took a little longer than normal. Um, but you know, I mean, that's the cool thing is the joystick is lets you rotate your guy. And uh, you can see it looks really sharp. I need to secure it. I'll do that in a second. I do need to make sure all the buttons work, you know. I think they're all good though. Yep, they seem good. All right, so it's finished up. Gorilla War. You know, there's no marquee light. I might look at that, but other than that, the thing's looking really good. I'm on level two, just playing it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, the best thing about this game is the multi-direction. How you can turn around, play two players. This is the joystick that was kind of bent. So it's cool that it's working now. I think it looks really good. I added some lights down there too. If you like the video, leave a like. Thanks for watching. And until next time, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna keep that shit retro by playing the Kari Warriors. Why not? On the NES later on. <laughs>